Hey guys, Mango 7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Uh, today we're going into episode 10 and I just want to preface this by saying um, I'm not happy with how many of these videos I'm putting out and the quality of them. I really want to get the quality up. I want to get the content up. I want to get um, the consistency up. But I'm having a hard time since we're so close to the expansion uh, deciding on what to focus on and what you guys want to see and what you guys want to hear. Um, so I kind of switched routes switch directions right now i want to go uh towards more general advice that you can use uh going into the expansion and this is definitely one of them i know a lot of people um in my guild haven't heard of this site or used this site i'm sure there's other sites as well but this is the one that works for me and it works just perfectly uh so we're looking at garlandtools.org right now uh just an absolutely amazing site and it shoots my uh, efficiency through the roof. I love it. Uh, I couldn't live without it. I'd be so sad. I was originally doing stuff in a little spreadsheet, and oh god, it was just a just a complete mess. Um, anyway, before we get into it, if you guys have anything else at all you want me to cover in the next episodes, please let me know. That's kind of what I've been focusing on doing. I've been browsing the subreddit and seeing what people like or seeing what people are asking all the time, uh, and what people are needing, and I'm trying to fill that little need there. First things first, I've already got six things added to my list here. Uh, so to add something here, we want to pick a name. So let's say we're going to add an ironworks piece of gathering here. And in the first page, it tells you stats, nothing we really need to know. Um, third page, it shows how you craft it. And that's just a mini version of this over on the left side. Uh, so we want to go to sources and uses, or no, we want to go to crafting here. Um, and we want to hit add to crafting list. Uh, this is the important part and this will add to your left crafting list here. So then we have it added and you can do the same with everything else. And that adds this to this list of stuff we want to craft. And the reason why lists are so important is you're going to be making a ton of stuff and you're going to need to keep track of it. And this is the best way I've found about doing it. Uh, the cool part about this is the very top here. It says uh, under contents, it shows you everything there is. Uh, in your list, in the shops, it shows you what you need, what you can and or need to buy from shops. Uh, and the crafting section is the best part. This is where I, I spend all my time here. The very top, it shows you exactly what you need uh, to craft everything starting from the ground up, assuming you bought everything from a vendor, which you shouldn't always do. So we'll go into an in individual item here. Uh, let's look at Waddlebark, the first one. You can see, click on it there and see where it's from, uh, Gathering and Alpha Crogen. It's a uh, star one, so that means it's an unspoiled. You can find more info on that really easily. Uh, also some collectible information, but that doesn't matter for it. Uh, let's go to a different one here, to Glass Fiber. So this one again, you see where it's from, Mogmol, Mogbelly, and the Trini Mists. And same with the lore, it'll say... Uh, where it's from and all that and more importantly it'll show alternative options so you can also get this uh if you watch my diadem videos you can also use your brass spoils for this sort of thing i wouldn't but you can uh, not to mention you can get everything from the auction house as well uh, you can also what i do is i like to craft a ton of things at once i don't like to do one or two things at a time i like to craft like 24 stars in a row and to do that i really need this and i need to be able to uh Mark what I have and what I need as I go along. Otherwise, you just get lost. And if you have to try to figure out mats in the middle of crafting, it's just it's just a nightmare. So you can check off, go down the list here, check off what you've got. And the green means you have it already. So that's, that's uh, perfect. And as you go down, you can eventually craft it. And this one here, now it's blue. That means you have all the materials for it. Uh, so we'll click this off here. Oops. So let's go to the bottom here. Uh, we now have the craft section. These are everything you can craft. So these are all the base items, like the very, very rawest of materials. The next one's everything you need to craft those into. So you can sit here and say you already have the camphor and you want to take it out of the initial. You can click the camphor and it automatically takes out the camphor here. Uh, the green means you've got it, so it automatically checks it out. And also it takes off the the shards and everything at the top. I don't really pay attention to the top, but some people want to might or might want to do that. So we could click them all off here, and as you can see, they're all going in green there. And you can do the same thing at the bottom as well with the ironworks. Say so you click ironworks armor of crafting, it now clicks off the celestine that you need, and it also clicks off uh, the aqueous whetstones and that sort of thing. 
And uh, the reason why I do this is because I wake up in the morning and say 15 things have sold, which is very possible. It happens all the time. Um, I then add all 15 things to my list and I keep my character logged in. That's really important. Uh, otherwise, you can get lost and forget what you're missing to sell. Um, and I check the logs and I add everything to here. And once I've got it added, I uh, start gathering everything I need and go from there. But in that time, something might sell. So say I'm halfway through this already. I've already crafted some things. Let's just click some stuff here so it's green. I've already crafted some things and say my star velvet of himation cells. And look at how amazing this search is. I cannot, like Reddit, how can you not use a search like this? Like, look at this. Star vel himation. And it finds it. Will it even find it if I go just go star vel shin finds it. That's just amazing. Exactly what I wanted. Um, so let's say that sells in between. We can just add it to crafting this right here. And it adds it and adds all the things. Just amazing. Another thing you can do to here is uh, you can have different lists. I already have a section here for Ironworks Gathering because I very often sell entire sets of this. So I need it on hand. I don't want to have to do, do this every time. And it saves it in your browser history uh, or your cookies or whatever. And you can just already have it set up perfectly. Uh, you also have the sold section, which is generally uh, where I put things I've sold and kind of rotate through it. Or you can make as many new lists as you want. Uh, new list number one. And there you go. You got another list there. And you can just add things over like this just to your crafting. So yeah, there you go. This is my number one resource for Final Fantasy XIV. I cannot stress how important this is. If you're trying to craft four stars at a decent rate and you're just going in blind, you're throwing away so much time. Uh, you really need to need to add it all up and do what you can. Uh, it's also good for lower level stuff too if you don't want to figure out the mats. Uh, it's just perfect. Anyway, that was episode 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the comments, the hate, the love, the feedback, all that sort of thing. I know a lot of people uh, are not a fan of my videos and I'm so sorry, but a lot of new players are and they love it. I had people uh, tell me they found the house and it just makes me so happy that somebody could find it because of me. Uh, especially since it's such a big deal in this game just to have a little house for your own. Anyway, if there's anything at all you want to know, I know I'm completely off track of my original uh, plan for the guide, but if there's anything at all you want me to go over, I can go over it, whether it's crafting, farming, uh, gathering, leveling, even anything, just please ask. Anyway, have a great day, guys. I'm Mango7Roll. I'll see you guys again.